Hi everyone, and welcome to another Daily Title Cycles video. Um, I'm not super sure what I'm going to do this time. I'm probably going to try and pull in maybe some of the various concepts I've used and played around with over the past month, because we've been doing this almost a month, and wow, that's a, that's a lot of content. Um, so yeah, let's, let's try pulling in some various ideas and seeing what happens and just, uh, just chill for like the next, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Thank you. 
So I just want to say a few words about what I did um, in that video, because um, I was just sort of making tricks up off the top of my head, right? And um, it occurred to me to use the stuff I've done before with um, the applicative functor lift for um, Boolean functions. And to, uh, to use that to actually generate the, the melody part. And the reason why is by having the selection of the RP sample go up by just 0, 1 by using this function that takes, you know, that I defined up here that just maps booleans onto 1 and 0. And it's like we're C programmers, right? Um, and then we use that and to send the, basically a, a pattern of just 1s and zeros to n. But then we used uh, this part here, which is we sampled this continuous pattern, which is taking values between 0 and 5, and we sampled it once per cycle. So what does that mean? Well, that, that's what created this effect of it, like, sort of going slowly up and down, but still kind of being the same, um, the same thing, um, basically the same, uh, kind of progression every time I I don't know it just kind of was a just feels like a trick that worked better than I expected that was kind of fun um yeah it was uh it was kind of some neat stuff um trying to mess around more with uh the binary patterns and things like that um yeah so that was, you know, for being something where I had no idea what I was going to do. That uh, didn't turn out half bad. So, in that case, um, I'll wrap it up here. And, um, you know, see you in the next video. Until then, take care.